Hey there, all of my Virgo people out there, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see just what is going on when it comes to your monthly astrological forecast for September 2024. And just a quick reminder for everybody out there, if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, you just need to go on ahead to my website, integrativemysticism.com, or follow the links in the down bar below. And don't forget to also like, share, and subscribe, especially if you want to be aware of when weekly astrological and tarot updates come out as well. And so what is going on when it comes to your week or week? I'm too used to saying week for weeklies. What's going on with your month of September? Well, we start off with a bit of a twist with Pluto retrograde re-entering Capricorn for a short while, but it will be there all month long. And this is your fifth house of love, romance, creative enterprises, parenthood, and your relationships with your kids. And with Pluto retrograde in the fifth house, this is a time where a lot of uh, revisits, a lot of time warps, and uh, opportunities to both close up and, you know, seal away old stories, but also retrieve things from the past will be a big theme of your month. Now, for a lot of you, this is going to be kind of a little bit of column A and a little bit of column B. Because with Pluto retrograde, this is likely going to be a time where your personal life, both your romantic life and your life as a parent, if you're a parent, are going to be going through some big shifts where a lot of old stories or old attachments that have maybe been um, exerting an influence over your love life are coming up to be cleared and coming up to be replaced, removed, and transformed. However, this is also a time where, like I said, some retrievals and revisits could be coming in from the past that you might be able to reintegrate into your present. Now, maybe these are things that once brought a lot of pleasure into your love life or things that maybe uh, were really strong bonding agents in a relationship with a child. This Pluto retrograde is going to give you a chance to retrieve the good while also eliminating the old that probably shouldn't have stuck around for as long as it did. We've got Jupiter in Gemini all month long. This is your 10th house of career, upward mobility, status, station, promotions, and raises. And with Jupiter in the 10th house of career, this is a time where a lot of you Virgo people are getting the rising star treatment as it relates to your work and your vocation. Now, a lot of you are going to find that this is also going to be putting a lot of pressure on you to become more active and visible and allow yourself to be lifted out of maybe comfortable spaces that are not serving the the work that you do or maybe where you're just not doing uh, as much as you could, earning as much as you could, working as much as you could, or even taking on the status or the station that is a bit more appropriate for you. Jupiter in the fourth in the 12th in the 10th house, excuse me, is also a beautiful time where, uh, you know, for a lot of you to get a chance to maybe step into the limelight as far as maybe a change or a shift that's going on in your vocation or your career that is allowing you to not only, again, get that rising star treatment, but also to be ahead of some kind of new curve or new era that is beginning that is going to also keep this good luck flowing financially and professionally. We've got Mars in Cancer all month long, your 11th house of friendships and your support system and community. And with Mars in the 11th house, it's a beautiful time for um, us to start getting a chance to really amass the dream team, the crew, uh, the best friendships, the core circle around ourselves, whether it's new people or known people. When Mars is in the 11th house, we've got to remember Mars is going to be really focusing on the uh, you know, the brothers in arms, the sisters in arms, the, uh, the really tight circles and working on making them all the better. This is a beautiful period for anyone who's been looking to actually delve into bringing in closer, more involved friendships, people that feel a lot more like family, but also Mars in the 11th house it has a lot of your social connections, opening doors and taking down a lot of blocks and walls in your life with and for you. However, Mars is also going to be putting up a great deal of filtration in your life. And this can sometimes show up where Mars, again, being all about only the strongest, the tightest, and the best for us, is not a friend of superficial 
people or superficial relationships or superficial friendships. And so you may also find some not so great acquaintanceships or maybe even some frenemies or snakes in the grass getting flushed out and revealed and recognized for who they are during this month as well. So you gotta take the good with the not so good. We have Mercury in Leo for the first half of the month. This is your 12th house of the past, private matters, hidden opportunities, secrets, and shortcuts. And with Mercury here, the first half of the month is all about catching something up that has fallen way behind in your life. Uh, something that is a priority, something that is a deep goal or dream or aspiration, and finally bring it up into the present, into 2024. I don't care what year it was stuck in in the past, get the hell over it. Uh, the, the, thing, the thing about Mercury in the 12th house is that you are getting a chance to reactivate something, to turn something back on or to get something on a better road that maybe was once marred or, or blocked up in the past. This is also a time where a lot of secret communication lines are opening up for you, both in the present and from the past, that are going to help you to maybe take advantage of some roads less traveled as it relates to both your social life and your professional life in order to raise you up even more, which is what we also see uh, Jupiter doing a big deal with. Um, and Jupiter and Mercury will be playing together a lot this month. We've got Ver uh, Mercury moving on into your sign the second half of the month, and we will have also had the sun and a new moon there in the first half of the month. And so this whole month, of course, it's a birthday month for you Virgo people, is all about turning over a new leaf. Uh, the sun and a new moon in one's sign is all about one getting a chance to finally completely change tracks, change trajectories, or change stories, change goals goals, change destinations as far as the road their life is headed down. With a new moon in your sign, this is actually a time where a lot of you are getting a chance to maybe um, finally commit to or even enact or begin bringing something forth into being that is a deeply personal wish, something that maybe has been um, a private desire of yours. It is something that is more about you and who you are and not really other people because with the sun and a new moon and Mercury in your sign in the second half of the month, it really is all about you, not the partner, not the friends, not the family, not the business. Um, it's really all about wh who you are and what your story is, right? Getting you back to your life and making sure you have one. And a lot of this is going to be opening up a new life for you, but you've got to be ready because you're going to have to step out of the old one for it. Now, this, of course, is also going to be a time where a personal project, a personal adventure, or maybe some kind of turning over a new leaf may require you to be ready to close up certain things. But I think that it is going to be a powerful refresher for all the Virgos out there and something that's going to be a welcome change. We also have Venus in Libra almost all month long, and the sun there in the second half of the month. And this is your second house of income, employment, valuables, and security. And with Venus here, you are a money magnet all month long. If there has ever been, uh, you know, a concern about where money's coming from, or will I have the money to be able to do this or that, September is just turning you into the gift and favor magnet. This is also a wonderful time for you to actually enjoy the benefit of being lifted up on other people's shoulders, professionally and financially. Uh, with Venus, we tend to see a lot of really helpful people come our way, important opportunities that maybe could getting handled Handing off, handed off to us, or with the sun, also some kind of new value or recognition uh, where we were not getting it before, either in a material or a professional sense. And finally, we've got a full moon, lunar eclipse in Pisces, which is taking place in your seventh house of partnerships and closest one-on-one -on -one connections. This is the boyfriend, girlfriend, the BFF, the business partner, the husband, wife, the roommate, all the people you have your closest, most involved one-on-one -on -one connections with. 
And a full moon lunar eclipse is a full moon that is exponentially amplified. So it's setting up a much longer window period going all the way up for de through December where this whole area of your life is going to be going through a massive transformation. Now with the full moon lunar eclipse um, kicking itself off on the 17th and again for the next three months, a lot of you are going to notice some important status changes going on in all of these relationships. Now, for a lot of you, these status changes could be very welcome graduations because a full moon lunar eclipse is all about closing up a stage, closing up a phase and moving on to something new. So this could be relationship evolutions, relationship status changes in that respect, making business partnerships official, maybe even stepping into spaces where we're talking about things like getting engaged, moving in, getting married. But this is also going to be a time for a lot of closures. And you may also find that certain one on one connections may be coming up to be shut down while this while others are getting lifted up so there could also be some situations where things that could already be hanging by a thread or things that are already on their way out or are already on thin ice do fall through so again you're gonna have to deal with a bit of a mix but this full moon lunar eclipse is about very good important evolutions in the relationships that matter so that is what i've got for you all I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget my name is Nico, son of Celine. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.